Hey guys, dcav 13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Conception 2. In the last episode, I believe we started off Chapter 3, and, uh, for now, well, we, well, actually, I think the next labyrinth is opened up, but, uh, for now, we have our bonds with the heroines to work on, so, we're gonna do that first. Uh, let me just see something real quick with my star children. How they're all developed. All the ones, okay, all the ones that are almost at max level, except the 99s. I can't remember which one of these had Grand Chain. I think it was this team. I forget which class gets Grand Chain. I think it's the... I need to make sure, because I want to make sure it's... Unfortunately, I can't check... Oh, here I can. Uh, goddamn. That's it. Yeah. Gotta figure out what button it equals what. Here we go. Yeah, so it is the merchant that has Grand Chain. Alright. Um... Try what I want to do. Actually, I want to head over to the gift shop first. Welcome! So I want to do something that I said I'd do a while ago. I have sunglasses yet. I don't know if the, if the fashion glasses are it, but I don't. I kind of want to waste my money finding out. Come back. <laughs> oh, for, forgive me if you hear me coughing a little bit. I, I'm a little sick, but I'm fine. <clears throat> uh. Okay, so let's see heroin data. Everyone's in a good mood at their second. Except for Tori. Um, well, let me just make sure that we don't have any events to do beforehand. Hey! No. I guess we do. We have to talk to them about Tori, I guess. Hmm. Where could she have gone? Miss Chloe asked me to teach her about being an S rank. Really? Do you want me to help look for her? I'm a-okay. Oh no, that's alright. I don't have to do it right now. Still, I'm glad that another first year has joined our team. <sighs> I'll have to take some days off from school because of my work for the church. I'm hoping I can copy class notes from her from now on. <laughs> that's clever of you. <laughs> I was going to pay her back with candy. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Please excuse me. I feel like Tori isn't the type who takes notes, though. Yeah, th th there's a bit of a flaw with Ellie's plan, I will admit. But hey, she she she's trying, right? Hey! Oh, John. Looks like the number of S-ranked girls went up all of a sudden. Yeah. Serena, Tori, and Fina. They all seem pretty different. Especially Fina. <laughs> she's so beautiful, but she's very modest too. Took me by surprise. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Sure. Yeah, Fina isn't stuck up or anything. She does seem kind of cold at first, though. Right. Yeah, I know. I saw her wearing sweats under her skirt to school the other day. Miss Chloe told her not to wear them because it looked ridiculous. <sighs> but I guess when you're pretty like her, any anything looks good on you. <sighs> World is so unfair. You really think so? You look good in your uniform, Fugo. Huh? Huh? Really? <laughs> That makes me a little happy. Huh? Wait, only in my uniform? No, no, no. It's just a compliment. Fuko, don't get all negative over it. Thanks. Thanks. You look good in your uniform, too. <laughs> oh, Fuko.
Miss Chloe. What are you up to, Miss Chloe? Oh, I'm just going through Fine's documents. Looks like Fine is really pop popular among the female disciples. She's so stylish in her uniform. There's no way I can match her. You really think so? I wouldn't know how the female disciples feel. Oh, well. I wish I could still wear my uniform. Hmm, I wonder. I doubt anyone would notice if I only wore it once a week. I think people would notice. Huh? No, I'm pretty sure they'd notice. Oh, there goes that idea. I guess I'll dress up as a disciple for karaoke. For karaoke. How is it? I want you to come to karaoke with me after school. No. Sorry, I can't. Oh, Chloe. Let's rest and then we can do the rest of these. <laughs> Get it? We'll rest and... Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just gonna stop that right there. That's not funny. What's up, Narika? Oh, <laughs> why are you all down? Hmm? What's wrong, Narika? You seem worried about something. Uh, oh, John. It's about what happened to Alec. Yeah. Yeah? Who would have ever thought that the monsters were actually human? It just makes my chest hurt thinking about it. Sure. I don't blame you. Oh. Don't you think everything here has felt so somber since that day? Some disciples were even hospitalized in the shock of finding the truth. Yeah. We still have to stand tall, though. Even after a tragedy like that. I mean, isn't that what we're here for? Oh, uh, right. Yes. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I think I was just venting to you. That's amazing! But talking to you gives me courage, John. Do you mind if I keep it up? I don't mind. If talking makes you feel better, I'm only too happy to listen. Thank you very much. <coughs> Alright, Serena. Be you okay? Serena, you haven't been sleeping, have you? Mm-hmm. Well, duh. Slaying monsters and tests? Something has to give. And that's something with sleeping. <laughs> as long as I can get something to eat, I'll be fine. Besides, our labyrinth sterilizing is going according to plan. Uh-huh. I mean, did you see how happy Fiend I was after her hometown was saved? Let's keep this up. No. You're just full of energy, huh? But you should still get some sleep. Well, I've gotten over sleeping anyway. Even if I do sleep, I never seem to grow. Sleep is just so overrated, you know? So I'm gonna grow by drinking milk. <laughs> I got it all figured out, too. If you wanna grow tea, you should drink some milk. In fact, I'm gonna go buy some. <laughs> Alright, all I was saying is that w that was a really big yawn. Creep. Don't stare at me while I'm yawning, you creep. Apparently everything I do is just perverted. Tori! Hmm? Is that... Tori? Hey, Tori! Did someone call for me? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's God's gift. Hello. Do you need me? Hey, I really wanted to see you. Definitely. Hey. We'll be classmates together soon, so I thought I should pay my respects. We've both got important parts to play, as God's gift and a disciple. What a proper greeting! Good! I'll be proper too. Let's both you and me play our parts. I'm looking forward to class meeting. Anytime is okay. Thank you. Got it. I'm glad to know you'll be there when I need you. Is that all you needed? Is it okay if I go back to my seat now? I'm going to look out the window now, at the sky. The clouds are calling me. Oh, but first, I have a question. Do you like the fluffy part of dandelions? Eh. I like how they're fluffy. Sure. Okay. Well, I love the fluff. Okay then, goodbye. Great conversation, Tori. See ya. R right. Goodbye. <laughs> Tori, huh? I get the feeling she's a little... eccentric. A little. Might be a bit of an understatement, but sure. Alright, so let's start our third round of class mating now. 
Uh, yeah, we just go up from here, so let's start. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, let's start with Fuko. Oh yeah, we have two defense Matryoshkas now. Now I'll still just use regular Matryoshka. <laughs> Phew. I have to calm down before he gets here. A little too late for that. We've done this so many times now. It'll be alright. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Fuko. Sorry to make you wait, Fuko. Oh no, it's fine. I was just trying to calm myself down a bit. I just get nervous before we begin. <laughs> You're right. It's the same for me, too. Touching girls is so nerve-wracking. I see. Well, I guess it's the same for everybody. Yeah, I'll do my best for us to have a strong star child. I guess I'll be relying on you again, then. Alright, let's see. Wish I saw any of these advanced classes yet. You can actually be pretty suited to being a thief. I think that's what I'll do. The magic attack isn't too good, but luck and attack's pretty damn good, so thief it is. You will be. Joshua. That fits. No level 99 star child, but it's fine. Oh, look at it. Look at him with the mask. I look forward to this. Yeah, at least we got 5% off, too. <sighs> I tried holding your hand a little tighter than usual. It didn't hurt, did it? I'm alright. Don't worry. I think I can feel your thoughts better when we hold tighter. Yeah, I remember reading that in the textbook. It also said that you can touch the other person on the ears, or hair. But it all depends on whether or not you're compatible with the other person. Hmm. The harder I try to make a stronger star child, the more embarrassing this is. But it's not a good idea to try to get too close if our thoughts aren't transmitted. You're right. We should just keep going at our own pace. Yeah. We don't have any problems right now, so I'm sure we're doing fine. All right. Now we have Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me again. I'll always be happy to perform the ritual with you. Oh, I guess saying things like that is a bit uncouth. The ritual is sacred business. I should be more respectful. Thank you. It makes me happy that you enjoy classmating with me. Let's do our best today, like always. There's no way I could hate this. I'm gonna think about how you saved me in the past while we do the ritual today. I'd like it if that helped too. Well then, let's do this. Let's see. Definitely more magic defense based. What can I even make with you? Oh, hey, a magic knight! And a minstrel. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Bard whose songs can call. So I think you do buffs. And then you, magically and physically balanced. Hmm. Let's go with a mage knight. I'll call you Luna. And just a normal one. Hey, 10% off. Nice to meet you. Did we create a strong star child? 
Definitely. Yeah, this one seems even stronger than before. I'm glad to hear that. It's probably because you remembered who I am. I think it's because we had a bond in our memories. Hey, thank you so much for remembering me. I'll continue to do my best during the rituals. Aw, Ellie. I just want to give her a hug. She's adorable. Alright, now with Narika. <coughs> Narika! Have you gotten used to classmating yet, Narika? I think so. At least a little bit. I'm slightly less nervous compared to the last time. Good. That's good. I was worried that it was me who was making you nervous. N not at all. It's all in my head. The class mating ritual comes from the joining of two people's emotions. We need to be closer to get better at the ritual. I'll try not to be as nervous. I promise I'll try harder. All right! Okay, let's get started. Let's see what we got. Any special classes for you? No, unfortunately. My magic defense isn't high enough. I think I'm gonna just make another merchant, because merchants have grand chain. And honestly, I think that's the coolest shit ever. So yes, let's make another merchant. He will be... Ellie. Nah. Uh... Eh, Katie's fine. Hey, another 10% off. I'll do my best. Not bad. <sighs> and? So how was it? I still tense up. Especially when you try to touch me. I just flinch every single time. Sorry. No. There's no rush to get used to it. We have plenty of time. Yes, of course. Alright, so let's rest up. Let me actually look at these new star children that we got. Uh, I guess I have to organize my team first. Go up to 25. Alright. And Kate can go up to 24. Back to the academy because we need more BP. So let's let's start with Ellie. Whoa! Looks like it's gonna rain. I have to hurry home and fix the leak in the roof. Ellie, are you going home now? Oh yes, I have to fix a leak in my roof before it starts raining. <sighs> I wonder why that apartment's so shabby. Huh? Do you live in an apartment? That's right. Gracia is renting it to make it easier for me to do my work for the church. Hmm. Hmm? You work for the church. You're supposed to keep that secret, right? Yep. If you found out about it, there would be a bad price to pay. By me, that is. Oh. No. That's the case, then you don't have to tell me. In any case, I want to help you fix that leak if you want. Oh, no, I can't trouble you. I don't mind. It's okay. Let me help you. It'll start raining soon, so we should hurry. Come on. Uh, you're going the wrong way! It's this way! Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> you're the one who wants me to rely on you, but you're pretty scatterbrained. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'll accept your help. Whoa! So this is where you live. I, I'm sorry it's such a dump. Gracia supposedly got a place like this so that it wouldn't stand out. It's alright. Doesn't bother me at all. So, where's the leak? <laughs> Everywhere, actually. I see. Huh. But for now, 
It'll be okay if we fix the one in the bedroom. I'm the only one who lives here, after all. Um, I've already bought a tarp, so all we need to do is go put it in the attic. Let's set up the tarp there. All right. All right, I can do that. Where's your room, Ellie? Oh. Man. You, you, you don't just barge into a lady's room like that. Me. Right. You'll need to go into my room. What should I do? Seeing a room like that might appall him. Hmm? Is there a problem? N not really. No. Mm. If I refuse now, he'll suspect that I'm hiding something there. I guess it would be better to show him how it is than for him to think that. Ellie likes thinking out loud. Yeah. Stop muttering to yourself already. There's no problem. Let's get going. Whoa! Please, wait a second! A at least give me some time! I need to mentally prepare myself. Whoa! Oh, so this is your room. Uh, I'll go make some tea. No. It's okay. I can wait. We should hurry and fix the leak first. R right. You can get up into the attic from above the bed. Got it. Okay, I'll go up there. So, can you bring me the tarp? Uh, um, I'm sorry my room's like this. This is nothing like a girl's room should be. I don't have any stuffed animals or pink curtains. So? You'd want to grow more like that, right? Hey, I like this room more. No. Uh, aren't you disappointed? Hmm? Why would I be? Now look how simple it is. Oh. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> Ellie's so precious. Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. <laughs> All right. If you want something cute, why don't we go shopping sometime? Huh? With you? Uh, I'll definitely go. Please, help me choose some cute things. I lived in a room like this the entire time I was at Gracia. I've never really been around things that are cute. It'd make me happy if you helped me choose some. Got it. Let's do that then. First, the tarp. Yes! Thank you! Let's patch this up quickly before it starts raining. Thank you for helping me today. The leak in my room's been dealt with now. <sighs> What we did was just a quick patch up. I'll come another day to fix it up properly. Oh no, I can't cause you any more trouble. I'll fix everything myself when I have time. I'll be okay. Oh, that reminds me. I tried making candied num num nuts. Would you like to try one? Hmm? Oh, right. I remember you said you wanted to make some yourself. I did make you a promise after all. Wait right here. I'll go get them. <laughs> Ellie sure does care about things. Sorry about the wait. Um, I don't know if these are any good since I can't taste them. Still, I really want you to eat it, so, um... Definitely. Don't worry. I'll gladly try it. Open your mouth, then. Your hands are all dirty from working in the attic. So please, open up for me? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh... Got it. Uh, okay. Here you go. Here you go! Hmm. Uh, how does it taste? Sure. I think it's a little too sweet. I'm sorry. I must have used too much sugar. Uh, I'll try making it less sweet next time. Thank you. Actually, I like it like this. It was delicious. Thank you. Aww. I'll keep doing my best. Everything from searching the labyrinths to making star children. I want you to be able to depend on me. Hmm? Oh, I came out of the blue. Still, I want you to trust me, too. That's why if you need help with anything, like fixing a leak, just let me know. Oh, don't forget your promise about taking me shopping. Anytime is okay with me, so let's go whenever you want. See ya. I'll do that. Well, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Oh, do you have an umbrella? It's already raining outside. Oh, now that you mention it, I didn't bring one. <laughs> you shouldn't worry so much about other people's leaks. 
<laughs> My umbrella is by the door, so please take it with you. You can give it back to me whenever. Thanks, Ellie. Uh, she's fucking precious. <coughs> yeah! <sighs> Moon's pretty tonight. As I think about it, that ghost only shows up on moonlit nights. I think I'll go to the pool and take a look. Fuko! You here? Oh, over here, babe! That's new. <laughs> uh. Good evening! It's such a lovely moon, don't you think? I see. Oh, I called you babe without even thinking about it. This is so embarrassing! Hmm? Um... Is that you, Miss Ghost? Oh! <laughs> yes, it's me! Here on the inside! I'm just borrowing Fuko's body for a little while right now. If you don't mind, why don't we take a swim together? We're supposed to be dating, so why don't we take a night swim? Whoa! So you really aren't, Fuko. Do you really think you'll be able to pass on if you date me? Who knows? I did mention it as a possibility, but I have no idea if it'll work. Right. I've decided to try everything I can. I am haunting the waters of the pool. Maybe I just wanted to swim more while I was alive. Got it. Alright. I'll do everything I can to help. I did promise Fuko. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, I don't have a swimsuit. They sell them at the store. You can make it there before they close if you run. Really? I've been listening to students talk here, so I know quite a lot about the academy. If you don't make it in time, we can always just skinny dip. Uh, I don't think Fuko will like that. I am quite interested in seeing you in the buff, Mr. God's Gift. Good lord. Man, this, uh... This ghost knows what she wants. I think I'd better rush. Okay. I'll be waiting. You look good in trunks. Are you a good swimmer, Mr. God's Gift? No. Not especially. I don't think I'd be able to fight underwater like the team here. You. The first step is understanding how a fish feels. That's the important part. <sighs> I have no idea what being a fish would feel like. Just imagine it. It's important to have a good mental image of it. Can you hear me, Fuko? Imagine you're a fish. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Fuko can hear us? Of course. I'm only borrowing her body. Her consciousness is right here. Maybe if you touch me, you'll be able to hear her voice, too. Go ahead and touch me. Right here would be fine. Give it a try. What the... You want me to... touch your chest? Oh, Fuko's screaming right now. I can imagine. Anywhere but there, please, is what she's saying. <laughs> Are you making fun of us? Not really. I just want to have some fun so that I can pass on. Since that's the case, I'll be giving you a hands-on lesson. Maybe waste on too. Here, please, Christ. take my hand. I'm sure I'll be able to pass on sooner if I'm enjoying myself. Phew, it sure is nice to swim in a physical body again. Whoa! You're a really good swimmer, aren't you? It's almost like you're a fish. I could swim a little faster than that, though. I can't seem to use all my strength when I'm in Fuko's body. Hmm. I wonder why. There must be something wrong. Really? Well, it's her. It is her body, not yours. Maybe she's not as strong as you were. Oh, don't worry about it. It might just be my imagination. I'll let you know if I figure it out after borrowing Fuko's body a few more times. I hate to say goodbye. But I'll be going now. I promised that I wouldn't use her body after curfew. I see. Do you think that doing this will help you pass on to the afterlife? I have absolutely no idea. Cool. But I did have fun today, so perhaps I'll be able to pass on eventually. I'm sure I'm getting further than when I was trying to figure this out by myself. 
I'm sorry I've used up so much of your time. See you next time. Oh, hey, Fuko. Phew. Sorry to keep you waiting. How did it go today? Yeah. You were here the whole time, weren't you? Well, yeah, but... You were holding her hand and everything. You looked kind of happy, too. Actually, when she's using my body to get close to you, it's really embarrassing. Hmm. I'm embarrassed about it, too. No. Oh, yeah. Right. You're alone together at a pool at night. Plus, we're holding hands. You don't usually do that with your classmates. I was actually conscious through the whole thing. My heart was pounding so loud. Anyway, I'm not used to this kind of stuff, so please be a bit more considerate. Definitely. I know. Wasn't Miss Ghost talking about how she couldn't do her best in my body? Yeah. Yeah, she had said that she couldn't seem to use her full strength. She's a lot better at swimming than I am. And she lives in the pool, too. Maybe she's the ghost of an aquatics team member. Could be. Sure. We should try looking her up. Maybe we can figure out how to help her pass on. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I got you involved in all this. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm already in this far. We might as well go all the way. Thanks. I'll be looking forward to your help. Well, let's go home. Hey, um, would you like to hold hands with me? Huh? Why? Why? Well, I kind of feel like I'm losing to her if I don't. Oh, Fuko. Yeah, I don't mind at all. I don't mind. Oh, um... Actually, never mind. I was just kidding. It was a joke. Just a joke. I... I wonder what's on the menu for dinner tonight. Oh, Fuko. Hey, wait up. Let's have dinner together. Really? Let's race to the cafeteria then. The last one there pays for dinner. Away I go! <laughs> Fuko. Hey, hold on. No fair, Fuko. Alright, now let's wrap things up by talking to Narika. Um... Hmm? I... actually have a little favor to ask you. What do you need? Would it be alright if you came with me around the city today? Hey. Uh, sure, I don't mind. Definitely. What's up? Remember how I asked everyone in class for ideas for the strategy conference? Yeah. Yeah. Someone suggested a beauty pageant at the field hospital to raise morale. We're hiring professional chefs to improve the food. They weren't all winners. No, they weren't. I'm trying to think of a good idea myself, but I haven't been having any luck. So I thought a change of pace might help. Hey, sounds like a good idea. You're right. I knew you'd agree. Hmm? What'd you have in mind? Do you want to go to karaoke? I'm actually not very good at karaoke. I'm a terrible singer. I wouldn't dare let anyone with an earshot. What I was thinking of instead was taking a walk through the city. Maybe I'll find some inspiration that would spark an idea. All right! Let's head to the city. Looks like a lot of shops in this area are closed. There aren't many people here either. It feels lonely. I can see some damaged buildings too. Must have been monsters. That stand looks like it's still open. Why don't we try asking him? Hey there! What'll it be? What, wanna close your mouth there, Takayaki guy? Jesus. I actually wondered if I could ask you a couple of questions. You one of the Academy's disciples? Sure, ask me anything! We're working on a plan for anti-monster measures. Do you have any suggestions? Suggestions? Well, only the obvious one, really. Just look around you. 
Whenever monsters show up, everything goes to hell. Most of the others have left already. This place is getting to be a ghost town. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? We're not strong enough. And that's making life difficult for all of you. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Don't think it's your fault, little lady. You disciples fight monsters for us. We appreciate all you do, and we certainly don't hold you responsible for this. Thank you. But if I could ask one favor, it would be to keep the monsters off us, even a little. I mean, if they keep hitting us like this, we'll fold before too long. No, it's just hitting me. Is that fucking David Vincent? Because <laughs> it, it kind of sounds like David Vincent a little bit. I understand. I'll try asking the others in the city for their opinions, too. We'd really owe you. After talking to all those people, I think I have an idea of what to do. All the other plans we proposed didn't factor in input from the citizens. That is true. So for the next time, I want to put forward a plan focused on protecting the people. Got it. Sounds like you found the inspiration you were looking for. Want to head back? Um, not just yet. Never seen that store before. It looks like it sells cute accessories. Is it alright if I browse a while? Hmm? Sure. Hmm. I don't remember there being a store here before either. Maybe they just opened? Definitely. Well, go ahead and take your time looking around. I'll wait here. Don't worry, I won't be gone long. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. <sighs> that took longer than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's alright. And then? So, what did you buy? A necklace. I just couldn't resist. I really like the design. I see. Glad you found something you liked. Yes. I think coming out to the city turned out to be an excellent idea. All right. Well, the sun's going down. Why don't we start heading back? By all means. All right. Uh, we'll end things off here. Uh, in between episodes, though, real quick, I want to go grind up the last of the star children who haven't hit max level yet. Then, at the beginning of the next episode... I'll give them independence so we can start making some more star children for the next set of dungeons. So, I will see you guys then. Bye!